Now, the first thing I'd like to establish is that I am woefully underqualified to be giving a TED talk or any type of talk for that matter. I'm a 16 year old high school junior with no notable accomplishments, but despite that, when the TEDx application form arrived in my inbox, I knew I was virtually guaranteed the speaker position. I made the prediction that out of the 514 students currently attending Archmere Academy, next to no one would actually sign up for the TED talk. And I was right. Out of the five spots that were available for the event we're holding today, only five people actually applied. So, despite my lack of qualification, here I am. Now, in order to understand why this occurred, I'd like to run a little experiment. Uh, for the experiment, I'll need volunteer. So, okay, I don't actually need a volunteer, but as we can see, out of the roughly 60 or so people in this room right now, only like five raised their hand. And in order to understand why this occurred, we need to discuss something called the bystander effect. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, the bystander effect is the inhibiting influence of others, of the presence of others, on someone's willingness to help someone in need. Psychologists John Latane and Bid Fortuna ran an experiment in which a, so a sound for help was played after a subject was placed in a room alone. 85% of subjects actually went out and saw the person in need. But when there were two subjects placed inside of the room, only 62% went and sought out the person in need. And when the amount of people in the room was increased to four or more, only 35% went and helped. This phenomenon is often referred to as the bystander effect or the diffusion of responsibility. And the reason this occurs is simple. When in the presence of others, you automatically make the assumption that someone else will take action for you. You diffuse the responsibility of taking action onto others. Now, the bystander effect is usually only cited in reference to blatant criminal activities or public events in which either no one calls the police, ambulance, firefighters, due to the diffusion of responsibility. But there's much more app practical application that I found to our everyday lives. Take, for example, the scholarship emails periodically sent out to the Archmere community. Now, no one actually ends up filling those out. And that is due to a, to a variation of the diffusion of responsibility I call the diffusion of opportunity. The diffusion of opportunity states that the more people that are present and available to take advantage of an opportunity, the less people that will actually take action. Everyone undergoes the thought process of, I'm not going to do this because everyone else is going to do it and I don't have a chance. But this then creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. Of course you're not going to get it because you never bother to apply. And a good example of that was, of course, the TED Talk we're holding today. Due to the diffusion of opportunity, only five out of the 514 students at our Academy Academy actually applied. And again, that occurred today when I asked for a volunteer. Now, how do we avoid this occurring? Now, the one and only way to avoid either the diffusion of opportunity or the bystander effect is, luckily, just to be aware of it which you already know by being able to speak today. You're welcome. Now, <laughs> the next time an opportunity presents itself in your life, just be aware that your odds are much better than you think, because everyone else will undergo the diffusion of opportunity. Next time an opportunity presents itself in your life, don't hesitate to seize your moment. And remember, you should never overestimate your competition.